Hello everybody, Hilsa Farmer here and welcome to this map tour of Lawfold's Aberdeenshire. This is a new map that we got on console today. I believe it's been out for PC for a while. This is by map creator Stussy Converter CM Mods. The map itself will require 225.48 megabytes, so not the biggest one. So that's a good thing. Now let's have a look on the map, shall we? Here we are. And as you can see, this map is actually a real area in Scotland, west of Aberdeen. I googled it and went into Google Maps and it looks more or less 100% the same as the map here with all the roads and all the fields and as you can see here to be a British or a Scottish map the fields are very big so that's a good thing so we start up here this is your start farm and you actually start up with a bit of fields 28, 29, 30 and 31 and the main farm and then you have this big field down here which is full of grass and another thing a plus in the book is that you start with the biogas plant now that's a good thing compared to the other map I did a couple of days ago, Grasslands. You had to buy the biogas plant for 2.4 million. Here you start with it. So you can of course sell it. Sell it for 362. But it's always nice to have the biogas plant. And also in this area you have a, a silo, the white one here, which you can store your crops in. And wait for the right time to the prices get high and then you can sell it to the silo beside her you also got the sawmill here down here is another sell point the housing estate which will take your milk and eggs and as I said in the mod hub there are two other farms you got one down here which you can buy and when you buy it it will appear a cow farm also and you got a farm down here this is a sheep farm 328 this one is only 91,000 so you can uh, as you also can see there are no farmhouse so there's no sleep triggers uh, but I'll come back to that <laughs> So let's have a flyby the farm itself you got some really big sheds over here Farmhouse is here You got a small garden here, and you also have a pig pen at your farm There are your farm silo more sheds, storage place, big shed over here and here and you also got these tanks here which will sell you fertilizer and seeds and it says in the mod hub these are also located on the other two farms and this one here I drove past this and this is actually a gas station so you can fill up your vehicles with fuel and you have a workshop in here more sheds and equipment and the fields that you start with what I really like about these are you have four fields, you have this one this one, this big one and the big one here and what's nice about it uh, is that there are no fences or no hedges in between so you can plow in between here and make it one big field or two big fields 
as you can see the outer corners or the outer boundary is blocked off with fences which by the way also have collision so all it says in the mod hub all fences hedges have collisions but this is a really nice starting area so what do we start with and what's the slot count well it's really nice actually let's go into the garage the slot count is only 379 and you start with quite some good equipment the new holland t5 favorite 511 the massive ferguson the 7 the massive ferguson activa 7347 a skid steer load a farm truck a trailer decent trailer a header a plow a pretty good uh, cedar six meter cedar a fertilizer spreader trailer header so that's your starting equipment now um, I tried most of the equipment and just bear, uh, we can just have a walk around here and have a look well we did the flyby so but just be aware of that some of the equipment is really worn down uh, you can also check that if you go in here you can see that the lizard pickup is at 0% maintenance also the massive ferguson header is at 0% and some of the tractors the new holland and the fent are also in really bad shape the worst one is this one <laughs> the farm truck um, yeah as i said also the farm has, house does not have a sleep trigger but there is a mod modded one this one this one popped up when i downloaded this map you can also use a farmhouse doormat so you can do like this can't be placed here okay and that's strange do I have to put it here maybe hmm maybe all the way out you have to have it all the way here how about this one ah oh, this one you can have closer so let's put that there so I guess that's the area where you have the sleep trigger so when you walk inside here you get the sleep option there we go and it says in the mod hub that let me see bum, bum, bum. sleep trigger at main farm is now static at main farm to prevent issues but I didn't see any <laughs> sleep trigger here you have to place it yourself and I like that because then you can choose which of the three farms that you want to start up with or you can can sell it back you can go into your garage into own items and you can sell it and then buy a new one and place on another farm so here you see the, the, the maintenance is really low down to zero and the fuel also so luckily we have a workshop and a fuel station here I don't there we go start filling eighty six euro to fill up the tank and here is the workshop so let's go the condition is down to zero even though you repair it you don't wash it so you also need to 
clean it up a little bit. So, I was thinking about having a trip around the map and show you the main areas and as you can see it's a big open landscape it's not a typically UK map with you know narrow streets and really small fields this is a really and this small wood here you can also uh, forest you can also buy so here we're coming down to if we see down on the map field 39 that's your big grass field that's this one oh, that's big yeah you can of course mow it all up and do whatever you want and then maybe plow it up and put in whatever you want so what I'm thinking is that I'm not going to show you everything, drive around all the roads. I'm going to drive around here, up here to the cell point, up to the main area up here, which has a lot of things in it, up to the biogas plant, this cell point here, and also the third farm. And yeah, there is something up here that I don't understand, but anyhow let's drive up to the sheep farm which is also a chicken farm if I'm not yes it's both sheep and chickens up here Now I drove a little bit too far, of course. No? Oh, it isn't in here. But anyway, these also, it's a good thing that you can buy small chunks like this with forest for 89,000. And it's really flat and easy to access. So we're coming up on the sheep farm up here. There you also have the seed and fertilizer tanks. So let's have a quick fly around also here. Let's see, I'm now over here. So here we are, the farmhouse. This area here is for your chickens. You get a whole lot of sheds. You got a bunker silo, more sheds. And here is the sheep pen with the food and the water tray or triggers out on the field. And they can wander all the way up here, I think. And you also own this area here when you buy it and there's a abandoned vehicle over here which is pretty cool so that's the sheep and chicken pen you know what <clears throat> let me get some money in and I can show you where what's popping up so here we are again with suddenly 2.3 million on the account uh, so when you go in and yeah I didn't mention the field prices as you see the fields are very big uh, and they are expensive 670 the big ones there 1.1 but there are also some smaller ones like this 274 186 
and as I said you can buy small chunks of forest like so and also just south of your farm there's a forest around the road but yeah the the main major majority is pretty expensive fields so let's buy the this one this is 328 BAM now you see there's a sheep pen popping up and also chickens and the same here if I buy this farm this is not that expensive only 91,000 buy that one and then you see the cow farm is coming up uh, for the chickens uh, I'm not 100% sure but there is a gate open here and I assuming that you feed them here and that the let's see this is the animal dialogue to buy and sell your chickens like so there they are and there's also a trigger here so assume that this will be the egg point where the eggs will pop up I don't know how you manage to clean up here if they are messing around but that's one of the things that you have to find out yourself I guess up here at the sheep pen you get the animal dialogue here to buy your sheep and out here on the field this is the water and down here is the food tray and when it comes to wool hmm, I haven't actually checked that out perhaps maybe also a water trigger uh, wool I assuming they will pop up in here someplace oh no here here we go here are the wool pallets so there we go that's the east farm also here you got a workshop trigger and also a fuel station here so we'll move on all the way up here and up to the lawful screen I did not mention but the map has eight cell points three of them which are the main cell points will be, which will take all your crops and then as I said we have the housing estate which is more or less a private uh, we, um, shop which will buy your eggs and milk and you have the spinnery which will buy your wool and cotton and then we have the biogas plant and the big hill grain the biogas plant will buy all your grass products and also your manure and slurry and the shire bale sales will buy your bales of the grass or straw whichever you make and also here as it was on grasslands I see I'm not a good farmer but also here the farmers do not seed along the edges you can see they kind of uh, drop the outer lane I don't know if it's more worker friendly but uh, <laughs> seems a little bit strange the seeding here Anyhow, I'll see you up at a look at this. Oh, you can see how flat and it's a good and open map. It's not one of the typically tight and small uh, British map, so I like it.
at the top of the map at lawful screen. This will take more or less all of your normal crops and here's the edge of the map as you can see. <laughs> so now we are all the way up here and now afterwards I'm continuing down here to the shop an animal dealer area which has a lot of things going on and here is one of the ed end point which you cannot drive into of course Here we are entering the Shire Green. Now here we have a lot of things going on. So what do we have here? This is like the city central <laughs> of Lawfalls Aberdeenshire. This one here will buy your bales. So here you have the trigger for your bales. This is the shop, which have the shop menu, the ATM or your finances and also a workshop inside. Over here is the sell point itself, which I think it's pretty cool. It says what it will actually buy from you. It's, uh, you have to back up, it's not the drive through so to speak and also the spinnery is here so here it will buy your only wool I think it was cotton also let's double check that let's uh, check here cotton and wool yeah and over here, this one I come back to, I've not found out about this, it's a strange thing. Here's the animal trade and here you have your and the buy point the dialog box. It's pretty cool that people walking around. Only thing missing is some small calves or baby pigs maybe. <laughs> And then we move over to this area here, which is kind of strange. I'll show you in a bit. So there we go. I don't know what it is. You can see some signs after my tires, just below my tires. But I... You know what? Maybe it's a slurry point. You know, give me a second. So, I leased myself some things here, the TLX with the tank, which can take slurry, and also a slurry spreader for the tractor. So let's jump over here now and see if we can buy some slurry. No. need to fill the tool. Okay, let's try the other one. I'm sure this is some kind of glitch that will be updated or else I'm missing something here. Start filling! What? Slurry. Okay. So it is. It is a slurry buy point. With a terrible sound. But I could not fill up this guy. Okay, good to know. 
good to know. So that's the invisible story point over there. <laughs> and I guess you can fill your car here with fuel. Or maybe not. Anyway, uh, that's the Shire Grain. Then we move over. We're gonna go up to over there on the biogas plant. So now we are all the way northwest on the map. We are entering the Big Hill Grains. Here you also have three different points so to speak here is your sawmill where you can sell your wood chips or your logs and then we move over here which is the big hill grains looking at the menu the top one which will buy more or less all your normal products drive through really nice then the next one here is actually for you to use now I think it is 500,000 liter uh, let me just check here a little bit um, but da -da, it doesn't say the amount on the mud hub uh, I think the farm the farm silo is only a hundred thousand and as you can see on the top pair you have six hundred thousand available storage space so high capacity low cost storage facility low cost does that mean you have to pay a fee to have it here Hmm. High cap in the mod hub, high capacity storage so you can store those crops waiting for free of charge. So free of charge and low cost are apparently the same here in Scotland. Anyhow, we'll uh, jump over to the BGA. And as I said, whole, all of this area you own. So here is the dump site, so to speak. Some interesting texture on this one. Anyway, here is where you're gonna dump your manure or slurry or silage. And you have five big silos which you can ferment your grass into. Uh, doo -doo -doo, I did not find uh, like a pipe for loading your byproduct, so to speak, the digestate. Oh, over here it is, of course. So here will you, you will get your digestate back from all the product that you deliver here. This is strange. Even it, I don't know if it's dirty or something is going on there, but anyway special so 
we are now all the way up here on the north side and then we move take a short trip into the cell point for egg and milk and then at the end we'll go down here at the cow farm As I said, it's not only the harvest headers that have collision here, also your normal vehicles will have collisions in the hedges, so you cannot take any shortcuts. So here we are, this is the, what was it called again, the housing estate. So there's your cell point for egg and milk. Now I guess if you buy this place also you can have it as your farm even though there's not much room to put your equipment. So I think I need to go through here. Again it reminds me of, just this reminds me of big fields at Stone Valley. <laughs> and you can see the cow farm all the way down there. And yeah. I've been looking for an American map with wide open space because I've been playing on La Coronella and Six Sashes now for the last weeks. But maybe this one will do it. So let's get an overview also. Oh, there are all my signs which I got the money from. <laughs> so, here we are at the cow farm. We get a farmhouse, a whole lot of sheds, big open space, and also a, a silo for fermenting your grass. A farm silo over here, more sheds. Uh, seed and fertilizer by point big open sheds here so this one and at least the one that you start on are really good and open spacey areas I think here is the slurry point the manure will pop up here here you will collect your milk I could not open that one. That's here we have a trigger all the way here. So this will be your food and the bedding, the straw for the cows. And they will wander around on the grass field here. Here you buy and sell your animals like so. There we go. And the water is just over here. And of course this grass you can also mow. The yield is not that good as when you seed it as of course. But anyway. Anyhow. Big open space. I did not find any workshop here did I? A fuel station. I assume this as a water also. No, this where I did not find any. So how to change farm? I can show you. If you go into garage and you go to the sleep trigger and you sell that one, bam, and then 
you go into farmhouses again bam and then choose this again and then you can place it in front of the cow farm here cow farm house like so bam so now you can go to sleep here and on the map you will see now that the farmhouse is moved to this place let me check my notes here um, da, 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 eight cell points da, da. I think that was it for Lawfolds Aberdeenshire for me it's not a typically British or UK Scottish map more reminds me of a big open American map which I like and you also got these chunks of big forest so you can do forestry so there we go that's the <laughs> mysterious slurry point which has this annoying sound but anyway, thanks for watching, and if you have any comment or anything, please leave a comment, uh, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel so you don't, don't miss any new videos or tests or map tour. Again, thank you for watching, and bye bye.